In case you're wondering what a software update looks like, that's exactly it right here. All right, thanks for joining me. We are just driving around a little bit downtown with full self-driving beta version 11.3.4. This is a brand new release, just dropped in my car today. I was on 10.69.25 previously. The right away, because of the rain, it's telling me that full self-driving may be degraded. Uh, so I'm going to expect maybe some reduced performance with this, but overall, uh, the car should handle pretty well. It's been doing pretty well with previous versions. Here we have a traffic cone right by the side of the road, and the car maneuvered around that very nicely. It's going to want to take a right-hand turn here, but I don't see where it's going to, so I will just disable that. Um, this intersection is a little different because of the construction. There really isn't a good pass-through on our right-hand side. So what I'm going to do is actually just reproject the route right up to here. All right, got to get the cadence of this. There we go. I would just see because I did disengage uh, full self-driving back there. I'm getting a little indication on the bottom. Oh, that is confused. That is very confused. Construction zone confusion. All right, so I did report that and uh, we're back in full self-driving beta here. So that's actually a regression from what I've seen in previous versions, and that could be somewhat weather-related uh, because the cameras aren't seeing lane markings as clearly, but didn't really see on the screen where it's having any issue with it. It just didn't know which side of the road to follow. And I haven't had that issue with previous versions of, of FSD beta. In previous recent versions, I should say. All right, so we are at a stoplight, nice. Slow down, nice stop. Makes just a little bit of a swing out to the left. No traffic coming in from the side. And it made the turn very nicely. Another spot I'm gonna watch here is just coming around this corner because it has in the past wanted to turn on a turn signal just to follow this bend in the road in front of us. And here we go, turn signal's on again. So that actually hasn't changed at all. Did take that just a little bit wide to the right. Uh, there's a little bit of concrete for curb there. Nothing that would have caused any tire issues, but it did run into that. And up here we do have some pedestrians. We are slowing down way ahead of the pedestrian spot. So I'm going to take over right there. Make this turn get us turned around a little bit. All right, so I'm going to follow this route here into another section of downtown. This is the Water Street District. Uh, this will take us few, through a few stoplights, some parked cars on the side of the road, and into the residential streets in this part of town. So the car is maneuvering into the left side. Uh, on the right, we do have a bike lane, which is just barely depicted here on the screen. And I don't see the markings showing up again, probably because of the weather. But I'll leave it here in, in the uh, full visualization. Uh, it is picking up on speed limit signs pretty well. And we're just going to see where it sits here in this lane. So on the left, we do have kind of a turn lane. On the right, park traffic. I feel like it's doing a pretty good job maintaining the center of that. And I'm keeping my eyes laser focused on all the cars on the right, just looking for any doors popping open, pedestrians stepping out from between cars, anything that would be a safety hazard where I'd want to take over right away. And 
it does tell me on the top, stopping for traffic light. That is one of the features of the new update that it will communicate to you what autopilot or full self-driving is intending to do as it's doing it. So it gives you a little bit of uh, advanced warning or information to tell you, hey, this the car is going to do this. So if you see it do, doing something, look at the screen, you know exactly what it's what it's intending to do. So it's going to take a turn up here, go through Carson Park. This is a city park, a nice small windy road. If we have any oncoming traffic, we'll see how it does with pacing itself on the right hand side of the lane to let the traffic go through. It's a little bit of struggle right there getting into that and we are solidly in the parking area on the road. Now it's got, it's found its way back into the driving lane. And other than that issue, it went through there just fine. Again, I did see that turn signal come on uh, as we were making the the left turn in, in the natural flow of the road. So it actually wasn't a, a turn, but it was just the bend of the road and the car thought that that was a turn. So it signaled that. So I don't know that that's a safety issue, but that's certainly you know, not something I would do as, as a driver. All right, good job signaling and making the turn on that. I felt like the acceleration through the turn is very comfortable. The slowdown before and the acceleration through is very much driver-like, so I didn't, didn't see any issue with that at all. So here's that section that I was talking about, Carson Park, with the small smallish road. Um, it's definitely two-lane with oncoming traffic. Again, turn signal, just following the bend in the road to the right. Seems to be doing a pretty decent job going through there. I didn't feel a lot of uncomfortable acceleration going through the turns. And the speed limit here is is uh, 25, so not anything really terrible for, for speed going through this. Alright, so I'm going to take over at this point just because we don't need to go down that road to the to the museum at all. We're just going to continue on our route right here. We'll reproject the route to the Children's Museum. Add that in. And then let the car take us there. So I've noticed the full self-driving warning about whether uh, and causing deg degradation it doesn't appear every time on the bottom here. So it's only something that pops up intermittently. The car must be able to see in certain situations or or know that the camera data is good. So it's not giving me the warning message uh, with each FSD engagement here. Right, we're going to go up to the stoplight up here to make a left-hand turn and then head back towards the downtown area. Again, we should see the chevrons here we are see them coming in just a little stronger and then there's a stop line right here where the car is planning to stop good and i feel it's pretty good positioning i think it's maybe a little bit further back than i would have stopped just to let the cameras see more with cross traffic coming through so now it's waiting for oncoming traffic the cars are showing blue here so it is seeing them. It's got us pretty square in the intersection with the yellow light. I think, nope, it wanted to go and then it didn't. I think it was waiting for that car that was making the turn. But with the red light, it was our turn. So I just gave it some accelerator to encourage it to go through the intersection, but left FSD engaged and it did complete the turn correctly. Not too bad for following this route. We have a lot of crosswalks here, but no pedestrians tonight. So everything with the car and driving flowed very nicely through that. It made the corners nicely. I didn't see a lot of turn signal action like I did before. Right now I would expect a turn signal to signal our lane. And there we go for this turn. A little bit of jerk there through the turn, just some hesitation. 
but it did recover nicely. So for this one, it's interesting. It has a couple of different routes. We could actually take a right-hand turn, not here, but the next intersection, but it's gonna follow the, the next one up and then do a couple of right-hand turns. So I'm gonna let it go through that sequence just because I wanna see how well it does with turn signals and uh, in these stoplights coming up here. And again, for making this one, we're swinging to the left to make a right-hand turn. Definitely some struggles through there. Definitely some struggles. Now this will be interesting because it does narrow quite a bit, so definitely just hanging on here. So it's looking for a right-hand turn there, but because of the construction, uh, that doesn't exist anymore. So right there, Rivian R1S, the R1S, brand new, no license plate on it yet. So I'm going to actually take over right there. Perfect. Let's just get the car going on the route. And it's actually, we don't have a stop sign there. I think people are just assuming that we do, pulling out in front of us. So a uh, car actually did just fine going through that. We do have some pedestrians up here. So I want to see how well the car does. It is actually showing those pedestrians right there, even though I don't see them as well because I have, car light shining in to the front here and so it reduces visibility for me. Good, car did a nice job through that. Just keeping an eye on it again as it goes through the parked cars here. Make sure I don't have any pedestrians swinging out between parked vehicles or doors popping open suddenly. Everything looked good through there. So the car was actually in a left turn lane going through that. And I don't think the markings are very clear. Again, some of that's weather related, some of that's visibility. Uh, but it should have turned left in that lane or been in the lane to the right. So for this, I would actually wanna be in the next lane over and I do have traffic over there, but there looks like they're giving me some room to go through this. Definitely an issue right here. Incorrect lane for route. So I didn't want to create a traffic hazard back there with two other vehicles just off to my left where the car would have cut in when it should have turned from that lane. So I'm not really sure with this uh, drive if it's going to give it a you know, very uh, real comparison from some of the earlier versions of FSD beta uh, that I've driven just because the weather is a factor on the drive. So I'm gonna give it a little bit of, uh, little bit of forgiveness in this one. But my first impression is that uh, some things have been fixed and some things seem to have regressed uh, a little bit with this. So. Car does get through the first traffic circle just fine. Um, in past traffic circles through that specific one, it would enter the, the uh, roundabout and then stop and try to figure out where it's going to go, which lane it wants to be in. I felt like it progressed through that just fine. Coming up on the second one right here. Car signals appropriately, slows down nicely. Picking its way through. Good, again, good. Probably very close to how I would have driven that. We'll give it a third shot here and then there's going to be a fourth one coming up before we end the route. And it's interesting that it signals to go into the traffic circle. 
it's actually not going to make a make a turn in there. It's just proceeding end to end in the circle through it through the intersection and then out the opposite end. Uh, so it's technically a straight path, but before it gets into it, it signals a turn. And I'm not sure if that's for traffic that's around the car to note that we're entering the intersection. I don't typically put on my turn signal for uh, for that type of an intersection entry. I will when I'm in the in the roundabout put on my turn signal to indicate which exit I'm planning to take, but not before I get into it. So here's the final traffic circle that we'll go through and then I will just wrap up with a few thoughts as soon as we get through this. Nice entry. Solid exit. Good. All right, so overall, first impressions with FSD beta version 11.3.4 versus 10.69.25. Uh, I actually felt like, uh, as I mentioned before, a lot of things seem to be improved. I do like the new single stack uh, for the highway. So seeing FSD now used on the highway instead of the old autopilot uh, definitely means that in the future, uh, Tesla will have a better platform to build improvements and make improvements from with FSD beta. So definitely encouraged to see that. The second thing that I that I noticed was that uh, the car did a did a pretty good job with most of the route, but it did struggle quite a bit with lane uh, proper lane presence for turns and navigation. Uh, a couple of times having gotten into the incorrect lane. The first time, or one of the first times, was downtown in the construction zone where it actually wanted to go to the left side of the cones instead of staying on the right side, which is where the road would take us. And then uh, through some of the turn-only lanes where it was in the turn-only lane instead of in the correct lane for the route. It also took a right-hand turn pretty wide once, and so I was a little concerned about that because it put me in the the right side of the the road where cars would normally park and if there were was a vehicle there then the car would actually not have been in that side of the road because it would have stopped or would have moved over because of the car obstacle that it would have seen but still is not a very comfortable place to be driving so close to the curb so definitely was uh was a little concerned about that but you know otherwise i enjoyed the drive and here it's going to take me in a do not enter look at that so we definitely have some work with traffic signs uh, and, and uh, recognition of, of different traffic signs. But in terms of like route and navigation, uh, not perfect, but it did, did a pretty good job. Again, I'll give it some credit for the poor weather that we had out here. So that's all I had for this week's video. Um, I'll probably do a quick update once the weather's better, just to give it a fair shake and see how it went. So till then, we'll catch you on the next one. Drive safe.